you start filming? And she said, no. And I said, you want to see me chew on my lips real fast way when I say, you saw cops and you start filming and you go, no. I just start chewing my lips. Welcome to the Dummy Cougar channel, everyone. Today we are headed to Las Vegas, Nevada to check in on everyone's favorite 20-year constitutional law scholar, Chili DeCastro. In this video, we get to see Chili at his finest, bumbling around the city aimlessly, not understanding jail procedures, getting confused, growing increasingly angry over time, and finally being told on a live stream that he potentially has committed a felony. And anyone who thought being told live on YouTube that he may have committed a crime would deter him would sadly be mistaken. A mere two days after this event, he may have violated a protection order held by fellow content creator Blue Bacon. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. Hi. Hi, how are you today? Um, this is the case number that I have. Okay. And um, I, I need to know all the names of the officers on the scene. There was one up. One up. Just a heads up. Sure. Um, I gotta give you a number. I can't give it to you here. Okay. I don't know how to look that stuff up. Okay, that's fine. So it's gonna be about a two and a half, maybe three hour wait, okay? Can I come back tomorrow morning or the next morning to set an uh, appointment? Anytime you come down here, it's two and a half to three hour wait. Two and a half to three hour wait? You, I can get you the area command offices. They're a little bit faster. Okay. If you want to just head down there. Sure, I'll head down there. I just, need, I just need to know everybody on the scene so okay. I can get the proper. I, just, I would look it up. Hmm. That's certainly odd given the fact that Chili said this the day after he was arrested. But just so you guys know, when the cops are hemming me up, I memorized all of their names. When the cops are on top of you, you memorize those names. I looked at the name tags six, eight, nine times. Just kept looking at the name tag, kept looking at the name tag, kept looking at the name tag. I know all of them. Odd indeed. So the gentleman he's speaking with eventually suggests he try a different location as the current location has a three hour wait to get the information he's requesting. So I came down here to uh, the Las Vegas Metro Police Department to try to get the stuff that I need and it's hours and hours. So how much time does it cost me? How many hours, days, weeks, and months does it cost me when I get a charge and there's no victim? There's no victim. There's no victim to anything I've done. I, I've never created a victim in my entire lifetime. There's never been a victim and I've been arrested dozens of times and I've never had someone who is a victim. Towards the end of the video, we will be circling back to this protection order as it's pertinent to today's story. So I'm just two minutes away from this place. Let's go in and see if it's even possible to get the paperwork that you need in the same day. Can you spend, can you schedule some time to go get the paperwork you need from the coppers and actually get the stuff you need in the same day? Or just getting the materials you need, does it take you more than one day? There's the million dollar question right there. Does it take you more than one day to get the materials that you need? End so Torture Cuffs is now up. You guys can go to the website. It's called endtorturecuffs.com. Everybody go to that website and check that out. So I checked out his website and I must say it looks much more professional than his previous ones. Thanks to someone on Discord, however, there is one funny error. I wonder if torture cuffs are more painful when you have five fingers and one thumb. Let's go into this cop shop. 
Let's see if these coppers are going to have the stuff that I'm asking for. Hopefully. Probably going to say, oh, your camera's running. You can't come in here. Uh, that's not it. Is that a cop shop? I, th I thought this was a cop shop. That's not a cop shop, huh? Okay. That's a medical, huh? Okay. Maybe I got the address a little sideways. Let me see here. Let me see. That's the right address. There has to be a sub, there's a substation here somewhere. There has to be this cop shop around here somewhere. You pull your camera out and you start filming that filthy copper. You, you film coppers, that's what you do. When you see a copper, you film the copper, okay? That's how it rolls, folks. That's how it rolls, that's how you do. I just need to, I just need, I just need to know the names of the people who were there, that's all I need. I looked at the name tags six, eight, nine times. Just kept looking at the name tag, kept looking at the name tag, kept looking at the name tag. I know all of them. I don't have all their names to properly, uh, okay. to properly file a lawsuit. <laughs> okay. So I can't just give you names. Do you need a copy of this report? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so go ahead and sign it for me, please. Thank you, I, I do appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thanks. <laughs> and I still have numbness in my finger and my- When were you arrested? The 17th. Oh, okay. The 17th. All right. well, so it's best been. The thing to do right now at this point is I got to give you to our internal affairs department and then okay. we'll have to look into it. Okay. So let me get you their number. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you for your time. So after striking out at cop shop number two, he gets the phone number to internal affairs to obtain the names of the officers he already memorized. I'd love to. So now let's, let's, let's just do it since, since everybody's here, let's just go ahead and give a call over there. Let's just call over to that internal affairs place that they gave me the number to. Let's just give them a call real fast here. That way I don't gotta record the call, it'll already be recorded right here. This, as it turns out, will be a mistake. I'm just playing the audio of the call due to the lag in the video. The overlay is of the body camera footage obtained by the Artie's Corporate Fiction channel. Check out his link below if you get a chance. He's very entertaining. Hi, uh, my name is Jose De Castro, and I was arrested by the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. I believe it was March 17th. I can check the exact date for you, Mar but I have I have the police report number here. And uh, you know, something very bad happened during my arrest. Uh, one of the cops decided to to apply torture to me, and and continued to squeeze me and hurt me to where he caused nerve damage in my arm, in my thumb, and my finger. Okay, and do you know the name of the employee? Um, I know the name of the of the copper who arrested me is named Bork. The copper the Sorry, who was what? the copper who arrested me was named Brand, Brandon Bork. B O U R Q U E. That's the cop that arrested me, but that's not the cop that tortured me. Br uh, Brendan's a little misguided. He believes that First Amendment auditors or activists are going to pull out a gun and shoot him. That's what he told me in the car. Of course, his miraculously his body camera was off now in the police report. He says his body camera was off, so it can't show him wrongfully arresting me. But I, good thing it might, I was streaming live and they can't hide that video. I got that one. So Bork's camera did get shut off for a few minutes during the scuffle with Chili. When he gets the body camera turned back on, Bork actually explains what happened during the scuffle. However, what is on there is their conversation about First Amendment auditors. Let's listen to see if Bork actually said what Chili contends that, quote, unquote, First Amendment auditors are going to pull out a gun and shoot him. Roll that tape, playboy. Have you seen have you seen the First Amendment auditors that are violent? I've never seen that have weapons. I've never seen any. I've seen a lot. And the thing is, I, I don't know you. Now I'm starting to get to know you, but I didn't know you before. He does mention that some auditors carry weapons, which is obviously 100% true. He doesn't mention a thing about guns or being shot. Let's continue. Okay, so do you, did you want to make a complaint against both employees? Oh, yeah, I want to make a complaint against all of them on the scene because here's what happened, ma'am. As, um, as, this, as this really bad person named uh, 
J. Solero, Solnero. I can't remember his, I can't get his dang name tag in my mind because I was being tortured. And he sat behind me and tortured me while the other four cops stood around me, literally in a half a C with my body pressed up against the car. And I said to the other coppers, I said, hey, he's torturing me. You have to stop this. And they didn't. So I'm suing all of them. And I'm suing Las Vegas Metro and I'm suing the county and I'm suing the city. So I'm suing everybody. You are sued, mister. You're all witnesses. Is that his name, Solero? No, that's what you said. Yeah, Salerno or Solnero. It, first initial is letter J for sure, because my first initial is J for Jose. So I remember seeing his first letter initial and being like, he's got the same letter and name as me, but he's a torturing son of a bitch and I'm not. I don't torture people. So, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe That isn't the right one. Um... It, it's, well, I mean, the initials are J and S, 100%. Like, right. So we should be able to find them from that. Well, no, sir, because we have 5,000 officers on the department. 4,999 too many. <laughs> okay. That fake laugh from the IA agent was pretty priceless. She's already sick of chili. Let me guess, we can't find him. I wouldn't be shocked at all. So Internal Affairs, who's the police of police, they can't find the initials of a copper. Is that true? Is that what you're really telling me? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking on my list right now to see if I can find them. Um, and then you said that someone tortured you. How was it torture? Uh, because what he did was he, he, they had me in the torture cuffs. They had me in two pair of torture cuffs. They were connecting them together because I got a slight tear in my left shoulder and bone spurs in my right. Mm -hmm. I told them that. I said, listen, there's no victim. There's no crime here. You're just arresting me for filming you. Don't hurt me. And so they put two cuffs on me. And that was fine. You know, my shoulder still hurt. But then this other copper, Jay Salerno, Sol Soleno, I don't, know, I don't know his last name. It starts with an S. So swim, swami, sl slippy, slappy, slimming, salmon, simmon, swan, swanson, swanson? Maybe send the briefcase. Look on the... Oh, yeah. It's right here. Samsonite. I was way off. I knew it started with an S though. It's Copper J Salerno or whatever his name is. And he, he was just bad mouthing me. And so I turned to him and I said, dude, get at it. Like, I, I let him know. I let him know. And so then he jumps down and grabs my arm and starts squeezing me and tells me, you're not following our directive. So I can, I can do this to you. And then he put his thumb in my ulna rate, in my ulna nerve and began to squeeze on my elbow, squeeze on my elbow. I've already identified as a journalist. You have my ID. Stop squeezing me. And he, he, he squeezed so hard that he forced me to rip my elbow away from his hand. And then, of course, as soon as I ripped my elbow away from his, his hand, he said I was resisting and then moved to hurt my shoulder, which I had already told him as a tear in it. And he said, I'm going to pat you down. I said, I've been patted down three times, dude. You don't need to pat me down. He didn't want to pat me down. He dropped down and hit me in the testicles. First, he had me spread my legs so that my nuts would fall. And then he uppercutted my testicles. I said, on, it, all the body cams were running. I said, I can't believe you just hit me in the nuts, dude. I can't believe you just did this. At that point, I told him he has a one inch penis. And if you took the cuffs off me, at least do it fair. Take me on fairly. I honestly can't believe he's still trying to pull this off. The shamelessness of him still pretending he wants to fight a cop is truly astounding, especially after the Chad Goo debacle. You know, because people had been calling me and saying, oh, you know, people have been texting me, you know, American Pride Ohio, Eugene earlier was like, you know, Chad Goo saying you're ducking him. Dude, I'm the one that suggested to you that we get into a cage and have a fist fight. <laughs> it, 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 if I didn't feel confident in, in my ability, I wouldn't offer you to get in a cage, brother. You know, and, and just so you guys know, um, I'm going to fight Chad Goo one day, whether that's post, you know, whether we can postpone this and fight in three months or four months or six months, or whether I just go to his practice room, because I want Chad to know, Chad, as far as man, as far as athletic ability, you're just not on my level. And I could stomp a mud hole in your ass. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pass the physical with the blood pressure being this high and my knee being this banged up. High knee pressure is the silent killer that not enough people are talking about. It's too much. It's too much. And now you can't find him. You can't find the piggy who actually hurt me. That I have nerve... Well, if you gave me a complete name, I would be able to find him. You, there's, you, you're telling I me there's not a report... And I keep searching under different 
different S O L S A L. I'm trying to figure out, and so okay. far okay. I have struck out. Your internal affairs, right? So on yes. on Bork's body cam, on Doolittle's body cam, there's going to be everybody who was on the scene on Sorensen's body cam. Uh, on S Sorensen was there as well. Sorensen right, Sorensen threatened to shoot me. Something. He threatened to shoot me with a taser. For what? For what? They, they they physically attacked me for no reason. My crime was okay, pointing a camera. I have an S Sorensen. Are you sure it's an S? But just so you guys know, when the cops are hemming me up, I memorized all of their names. Can discuss that with the detective. <laughs> I can't give information out over the phone, sir. Why? When was the last time someone plotted to attack Las Vegas Metro Police Department? When did that happen? When was it last? Is <laughs> our confidentiality policy. He's a public affairs. servant. He's a public servant being called out for abuse. Why yes, would you hide sir, his... I'm okay. not going to argue okay. with you. Okay, I'm it's trying fine. to help you. I get it. A, sorry, ma'am. I'm just a little emotional as I relive okay. what this guy did to me as I was in cuffs. Why can't he try that to, against me? I'm old. He should be able to whoop me. Invite me to the gym and let's go, let's go down there and see if you can do it with I'm not in torture cuffs. See, see what happens. See how it goes. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pass the physical. Guy's a psycho. And then he sat in the car and told me how First Amendment auditors drop the phone and shoot cops. That's what he said in the car. Wait till the audio comes out. He literally told me that people who film cops will drop the camera and shoot them. That's what he said to me. Have you seen Have you seen the First Amendment auditors that are violent? I've never seen. They have weapons. I've never seen any. I've seen a lot. <laughs> okay, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, I heard it from Bork, from from Brandon Bork said that First Amendment auditors are gonna shoot cops. So he rambles on repeating himself for a few more minutes when, just out of the blue, the IA representative asks this very pertinent question. Are you recording this, by the way? All my calls are recorded, ma'am. I'm a journalist. Okay, then I need to disconnect the call. I can't take any recorded calls. Oh, you can't? Can I call you back? The law. Oh. I can give you the statute if you would like it. In person, you can record. Over the phone, if you don't have my permission, you cannot record. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Sorry yeah, about that. You may not record, obtain, share, or use oral conversations that you are not a part of without the consent of the contributing party. Wire communications cannot be recorded or shared without the consent of all involved party. Okay. NRS 200.650. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll stop the recording then. Thanks for your time. All right. Okay. Bye, ma'am. I guess you're not allowed to record. Because it is not admissible and I do not give my permission. Right, right, right. No, prob okay. no problem, ma'am. Thanks for your time. All right, so, uh, so he's been warned that he could be committing a felony, and this woman did not give him consent to record this conversation. Surely he just cuts the live stream, right? I need to read you a statement, and uh, it's saying that you are telling me the truth to the best of your knowledge of what occurred. I just got to walk away from my going to try to get an officer in trouble. No, I just got to walk away from my recording because you asked me not to record. So I put my phone over there so I'm not recording. Okay. Now you're not being recorded. The, all right, thank you. Is sure. the information you are providing true and accurate? Yes, ma'am. The information is true and accurate. All right. Do you understand that a person who deliberately reports to any police Okay. Do you understand this? I do, ma'am. I'm not lying. I'm going to actually file a lawsuit. But let me ask you a question. Are you recording the phone call? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, if I, if I was, I would have to tell you up front. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Sorry about that. Well, I'll, I'll take the recording down from the internet. Sorry about that, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be Yeah, because actually it can be considered as a felony if you did not get my permission. Sure, I'll take it down then. Sorry about that. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, I better take that recording down then. Okay. So, anyway, you're welcome to hear the other recording that you had in person, but over the phone you're not allowed to. Okay. Uh, let me let me take um, it down. Then. This phone call lasts approximately five more minutes. While Chili is still recording the call, the audio gets a little tougher to hear, but you can make out the entire thing, and it's just a rehash of everything he said previously. Let's jump to the end. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get this sent off. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Well, sorry about that, guys. I actually have to take the I have to take this video down. I talked to her about it. She said, you know, as soon as I found out that it was against the law, I stopped recording. And so she said, because I said, now I'm going to be in the back and forth with these people. I'm going to be in the back and a fourth. Uh, and they're going to try to press charges against me for recording them. And she said, no, you stopped recording immediately. But you didn't stop recording, Chili. Do I think anything would ever come of this? I highly doubt it, but maybe it can be a learning opportunity. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I couldn't finish the sentence. We all know Chili refuses to learn anything new. All right, let's jump to the second part of the video where Chili may have broken the law yet again. Uh-oh. Delete laws. Is this the real delete laws? It's the fake private eye. Uh, real private eye. The fake military cop. And it's real, the real uh, military police sergeant. Which I technically still am. Uh, you play the tuba and you're getting sued. Uh, I do play the tuba. I am getting sued. But I still am military police. I haven't... I'm not MOSQ'd for my position, which... Is allowed. But, uh, give me one second, folks. If I'd like to respond to this without handcuffs on, I really did myself dirty here. Blue really makes me laugh. What a hell of a time to handcuff yourself behind your back. For a little context, Blue Bacon Ear has a one year restraining order against Chili De Castro seen here. Let's see if Blue makes it out of these torture cuffs. Man, I sure wish my hands were free so I could play you some music while I try to figure this out. That is the actual delete laws. I have confirmed. Uh, if people could screenshot that for me, that would be fantastic. If we could do that very quickly. Uh, Mr. Castro here has made several statements on my video. Uh, I have confirmed it does go back to his channel. Uh, he says, uh, he comments the fake private eye, the fake military cop, you play the tuba and you're getting sued. Every video made is damages. I had 20,000 subscribers in my first month. Uh, he says, you're so fake. He says, it's why you're a nobody. He says this vid and every vid you make will be damages. Says you're so irrelevant. If people could just screenshot that, and if you don't know who's screenshotting it, uh, it's you. If you would be so kind. So, document. This is my stream. On the right hand side, we have the chat. If I click this, there's one of his uh, comments says you're so fake. I say go to channel. This is his channel. 105,000 subscribers. Elite Laws, uh, 1984. And that is the evidence. Thank you. Somehow Blue Bacon remains really calm during all this. I think I would be in a full on panic mode. He's literally obtaining evidence against Chili whilst being handcuffed behind his back. YouTube can be so fun sometimes. All right, Blue, let's get out of those cuffs. I know you can do it, buddy. You're my boy, Blue! Trying to put a thing in a hole that doesn't exist. Relatable, am I right? So, we're free now. Let me explain why I got so excited about that. Um, if you'll excuse me. It's because I have a restraining order against him. He is not allowed to contact me. Now I have evidence of multiple contacts against me. And I can prove, because I just recorded it on stream, that clicking that link of the comment that he left goes directly to his channel. Congratulations, Mr. DeCastro. You just violated protection order multiple times. So, I think that deserves a drink. Well done, sir. You are not allowed to contact me. That's a uh, court order, actually. So, um, I will be reporting this to the police. Chili just cannot help himself. 
The stream did have this title in it, but Blue only covered him for a few minutes. The entire stream was really fun to watch. I linked it below in the description. It's almost like I got a restraining order on purpose. And it's almost like I read that restraining order. You have it. You should have read it too. And it's almost like, oh gosh, the court confirmed you had received it. Hmm. That's so weird. Well, I digress. Wow, it is a party tonight. Let me tell you, it's what what a goof, what a goober. Better luck next time. Bye. Blue Bacon, who we all know is a man of few words, seems to have busted Chili breaking this protection order. Rather than the recorded phone call with Internal Affairs, this could potentially land Chili in more legal trouble. And it couldn't happen to a better 20-year law scholar with high knee pressure who has never created a victim. Before I let Chili take us out, please remember to subscribe, notify, like, and comment below. First he had me spread my legs. <laughs> Uppercutted my testicles. He dropped down and hit me in the testicles. One inch penis.